I'm Sean Coffey with CarReview.com. We're taking a look at the 2012 Mazda CX-9. This is a uh, CUV crossover SUV. Uh, it seats seven in the standard configuration. Standard is a, a 3.7 liter V6. It makes 273 uh, horsepower and 270 foot-pounds of torque. The six-speed transmission. Uh, this is a big boy, but this thing does get up and move. Uh, and also, being a car that seats seven, you're going to want to have a good bit of power so that you need to get up and merge and get out of the way. You've got a lot underneath the hood. Uh, Mazda has a long history of making cars that zoom. Uh, that's been something that uh, has been referenced in their advertising campaigns for years. They have iconic sports cars in their line, specifically the Miata and the RX-7. Uh, Mazda is a car company that's known for making cars that handle. And this, the CX-9, is no exception. Uh, in the class, the CX-9 comes with stiffer springs, larger roll bars, independent suspension on all four wheels. Uh, again, for a car this size, uh, this being a 40 300 pound car. This thing does handle a lot better, feels a lot tighter and turns on a windy road than a lot of other cars it competes up against. The CX-9 is available in three trim levels. The uh, one that we got is the Grand Touring. It's the highest end model. Uh, the Sport starts at around 29 and the GT is uh, 33. The one that we have as equipped is up to 41. But it's a nice looking and nice feeling car. The build quality is tight. The design is fairly subtle. Doesn't look like a minivan. Doesn't look like it's trying to be too much of a truck. Uh, it fits a good high end feel for a car that costs this much. Uh, it's also very well equipped. The GT model that we've got right here has uh, 20 inch alloy wheels and a lot of other extra features, especially on the inside. Uh, this has got available all wheel drive. Uh, the other models are standard front wheel drive. And that all wheel drive system no doubt does help the handle of this guy. Despite its diminutive looks from the outside, it's got 101 cubic inches of storage space and it's got a, uh, in the GT model, available is a uh, power lift gate. It's a nice convenience for uh, getting the back end up if you've got a lot loaded up in your arms and you're juggling kids. It's got some storage nooks and crannies as you'd expect from a CUV of this size. Uh, overall, they've sacrificed a bit of storage room so that you've got more room for your seven potential passengers. and. Uh, the passenger doors are a little bit on the long side for tight parking, but uh, you do have a good bit of room inside here if you are fitting uh, another four adults in the car. And another nice feature that you should check out is in getting to these back seats, there's a really nice easy access lever to slide the seats forward right here that you can take a look at. So from here you've got room for mountain bikes, skis, lumber, all the groceries you want and uh, you can pretty quickly convert this back to your uh, people hauler with just a couple of pulls of levers and you're set to uh, bring an army to school. Up front you've got a nice clean interior not a lot of odd design elements. This is fairly subtle. All the, uh, all the materials are pretty high end. It's got a, a, I'm not sure if this is general leather or not, but it's got a nice leather quality type feel to the seats. Three position memory seats, full power on the driver's seat, mostly power on the passenger seat. Uh, tilt and telly steering wheel, again that's on the GT model. And uh, three zone climate control, navigation, very powerful Bose stereo system. Uh, everything is there to really make the drive as comfortable as you need it to be. Uh, everything is a little bit austere, it's a little bit, a little bit plain, so if you're looking for edgy design, this is probably not the way to go. But uh, everything is right where it should be from a driver's perspective. No full size SUV is complete without a rear DVD, your wireless headphones and your remote to keep your passengers happy. This all has that. Now that you know what's there, let's get it out on the road and see how it drives. So from normal day-to-day -day driving, zipping around parking lots in the mall, CX-9 does not feel like a 4,300 pound car. This thing is light on its feet. It's like a big guy dancing. Uh, he's not gonna be the most nimble guy out on the floor, but he can get around surprisingly well. Uh, the motor is also really responsive, really quick to rev. The six-speed transmission, which is standard on all models, is uh, really quick to upshift and will also hold the gear all the way up to uh, very high RPM when you really do need some uh, kick for passing. It's a fun car to drive, uh, even if you're somebody who's used to driving a lot smaller, a lot lighter cars. Uh, this is something that, uh, you know, you're, you're better off behind the wheel of this than you are a minivan or a Ford Econoline by a long shot. Turning radius is good, not great, but again, for a car this size, this thing uh, does turn around. It's easy to forget sometimes that this car is as big as it is and that it can hold as much as it can hold. 
and uh, that's one of the elements about driving it which makes it kind of nice. I think when we all got behind the wheel of this, your first instinct is that the car is a bit of a pig, uh, because most cars of this size really are. But the CX-9 is, uh, is, again, it's something that just feels a lot more enjoyable to drive. The steering wheel has a nice tight feeling. It's a little bit of a smaller steering wheel like what you find on a sports car. Uh, everything is uh, right to hand. Uh, the six-speed transmission does have a manual shift mode that's pretty quick to respond, but it's a little bit kludgy. It doesn't respond quick enough and really feel like a, uh, what you call a manumatic or certainly not like a, a, a true Tiptronic or DSG type uh, transmission that's out there. But uh, again, it does find the sweet spot of the motor and keep you uh, going up pretty well. In terms of uh, gas mileage, this is uh, not going to be really exceptional in either direction in its class. It's around 17 to 19 on city to city and freeway mixed driving. This being the all-wheel drive model, it gets a little bit less mileage than, uh, than the front-wheel drive model will, but of course you do have the added security and the improved handling of uh, a decent all-wheel drive system. So Mazda claims this has the soul of a sports car. And one of the most iconic sports cars is, of course, Mazda's own Miata, which is uh, just over 2,000 pounds. At 4,300 pounds, the CX-9 equates to two Miatas. And uh, we're going to see exactly how much of a sports car soul uh, this thing has right now on one of the windy roads we've got in our area. Steering has a little bit of a light feel. There is a wallow in the car. If you're used to driving a sports car, this thing is not going to astound you but uh, it will go around corners and it will uh, respond to your inputs like a driver's car. It's got a nice balanced feel to it. Uh, the all-wheel drive system transfers power pretty effectively and uh, does a good job of really keeping the chassis in line. You've got independent suspension on all four corners doing their job. So Mazda, you say the CX-9 is a soul of a sports car. We're gonna follow fellow car review editor Ming Tan and his heavily modified Audi A3 on a windy road and see exactly how much zoom zoom you have packed into this car. Whilst of course respecting all rules and regulations of our local roads. Keep in mind the iconic Mazda Miata is 2200 pounds. This weighs almost as much, maybe more than two Miatas. And it's still just got the same four wheels. Now, make no mistake about it, the CX-9 definitely does handle well for a car of its type, but if you're expecting a sports car type ride, if you came from a sports car, or if you have a love for sports cars, this car is going to leave you still wanting more. But, let's be honest, most people who buy a 4,300 pound, seven passenger crossover SUV aren't looking to drive windy roads vigorously, chasing people in modified German sedans. They're uh, most likely going to make the fellow occupants of this large and stately truck uh, SUV vomit in the process. So with that in mind, I think the CX-9 is a really well-balanced offering. It has something, a little bit of something for everyone.